Hi, today I'm doing a review on a book that I've been waiting for for over a year and a half. Um, it's the fifth book in the Gallagher Girls series by Ali Carter and it's called Out of Sight, Out of Time. Um, the link to my review on books one to four is in the description box below. Um, but I have to say this book was brilliant. Um, it's so strange thinking back to the first book, um, which is so like for 12 year olds. And the fifth book, which is a lot more grown up and mature and um, darker and deals with, uh, you know, serious issues. Or the, f the first book is just very um, kiddish. I loved the third and fourth book when that story came in where um, the Circle of Kevin and they were after uh, Cammy. It just got really like exciting and dangerous and I loved all that. Um, and then the fifth book got even hyped up the tension even more. At the end of the fourth book, Cammy ran away and decided to go out and try to find answers for herself. And if you go on to, um, Ali Carter has a website, thegallagheracademy.com I think, and if you sign into that, kind of register, and there's like um, little short stories that she released every week, like a couple of months before the book release, and it was from like all her friends' point of view during the month she was um, gone. Which is, you know, in interesting to see because you never read from their point of view. They're, you know, they're quite short, so if, you, if you'd like to read them, I suggest you do. Um, but anyway, at the start of the, the fifth book, she wakes up and it's like four months later and she can't remember anything she did over the summer. And she's like bruises and cuts and um, like her hair is chopped and she doesn't know what happened. And then she goes back to school and she's kind of changed and obviously and she's damaged and um, mentally she just has a lot to work through and some of her friends are very very happy to see her and some kind of resent her a little bit um, and it was just really exciting and then the whole book is just Cammy retracing her steps and kind of getting instinctual feelings about where to go and how to f find out what she did over the summer and there are there are answers at the end of the book but as well, I still had questions at the end of the book, and obviously there's going to be another one. Um, I've no idea when the sixth one will be out. Because there's still lots of questions about the circuit cabin and um, what's going to happen. But the big mystery about why they needed Cami, what they wanted, their whole big agenda, that was answered, so I was happy about that. But we still don't 100% know what happened to Cami during those four months. And that kind of frustrated me a little bit because I wanted to find out. Um, but hopefully we'll find out in the next book. I have to say I loved the book. Was it my favourite? It could actually be my favourite of the series. And um, Cammy was just so like com interesting and complex in this book because she was going through these, this crazy thought process and she was losing time and she'd, a she'd have a gun in her hand she wouldn't even know where it came from. Things like that. Um, so went through a big change but I really enjoy it and I loved I love her mother in it and th their relationship you don't get to read a lot of mother daughter relationships and um, I could have done it more Zach in this book to be honest but the scenes between him and Cammy then were, were, were really good um, so yeah I definitely recommend this book if you love the third and fourth you're going to love this one even more and um, yeah so I say it'll be a long way for the sixth one so that was my spoiler free review and I'm going to talk about it in a bit more detail with spoilers so if you don't want to know what those spoilers are I suggest you switch off now. Okay so Cammy, my goodness, she went through a lot even though she can't remember a lot of it but um, you feel so bad for her and I love the whole mental instability thing and her kind of unravelling throughout the book it was fascinating and interesting. Yes there wasn't many Zach scenes but the ones we do get are quite nice and really good and um yeah I, I love all the scenes of her and her mother too and all her friends are worried I was worried that Zach and Bex were like too close at the beginning I'm really glad then um Bex kind of forgave Cammy after a while um when Mr. Solomon woke up that was really nice and we finally found out what what they wanted from Cammy so Cammy saw this list but she was at the circus and they wanted like surprisingly how she remember all that 
all those names, but they wanted to list off her and then she led them to the list in Ireland. So yeah, they went to Ireland and I was kind of worried what the author's description of Ireland was going to be like, but she was very complimentary. Uh, obviously they were in the west of Ireland because it was very rural. Um, but yeah, well, it wasn't too bad description. Um, and oh, something that, little thing that bugged me, the name Gillian. Never in a million years would you hear someone called Jilly here. It's just the oddest shortening of a name. Um, Jill maybe, but not Jilly. Um, anyway, so they lost the list, but Kanye remembered it in her mind. And I'm really glad that her dad didn't turn out to be alive. That's probably a sad thing to say, but it just would have made it a little bit cheesy. And at the end, it was really kind of exciting where she was almost being brainwashed to commit suicide and then her mother and Bex had to stop her. Oh stupid Liz, this really bugs me sometimes. Like running onto the roof like a crazy person and falling herself, she's not, not very helpful. Um, but yeah, I would have liked a better explana explanation about that scene in the end. Like. Was it the music that was a trigger that allowed them to brainwash her? I don't know. I hope to get proper explanation in the next book. How did her, f how did her mother and her friends know she was going to try and jump off something on the fifth floor? She didn't write that in her note. Um, and as I said, we don't know exactly what happened to her. Like Dr. Steve is there, but she was kidnapped. Like how was she kidnapped? What happened in Budapest? I hope we find out all these unfinished things in the next book. And they won't just forget about them. Um, but yeah, so there's nothing really new to find out about the Circle of Heaven. Ne the next book, just, you know, the aim is going to be to bring them down. So it should be quite exciting in the next book. Um, but yes, I really enjoy it. And, you know, I, um, I have one chapter to go and I have to leave. And I was in town and I just couldn't wait to get home to finish it. Um, but yeah, it was, it was really addictive and engaging throughout, and I kept moving, it didn't drag one bit, so that was good. Um, and that's that, that's my review. Um, I'm off to see The Hunger Games in the cinema uh, later, which I'm excited about. It's funny, if you see my review on The Hunger Games, I'm just talking about them just making the movie, and the actors weren't even announced who were in it, and now it's made and it's out and everything. Um, so yeah, I hope, I hope it's good, I hope it's a good portrayal of the book. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching today and I hope you tune in to my next review.